How's it going guys? With Gouging Fire being banned recently and Smogon overused, I just had to use its modern day counterpart, Entei. With a decent base 115 attack and 100 speed, slap a choice band on this thing and spam extreme speed and sacred fire to your heart's content. That's pretty much the gist of it. The first battle with this team is against Reist and the second is with Jake, both from the Pokemon Battle Hub Discord. So with that being said, be sure to sacred fire that subscribe button and without further ado, let's jump into the games. Alright, Reese has brought a pretty cool looking team. They got an Umbreon, a Quackwivel, a Torterra, Noivern, Great Tusk, and a Low Kicks. Gotta love it. So, anyway, uh, Ampharos, if we can weaken that Umbreon, he can do some stuff. That's for sure. Terra Ice kind of wrecks their team, the Torterra, Noivern, and uh, the uh, Great Tusk. We do need the um, Aurora Veil up, though, to help with that Low Kicks. First impression is going to sting. We can probably safely lead off with the Dragapult and just drop a Draco. I, I do like to do that with the Dragapult. Um, we could also lead Entei, potentially. Um, let's go Dragapult, though. I think Dragapult's a solid lead, and we just drop a Draco straight away and just get some damage off immediately, and then go from there. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Reese. So they're going to lead off with Kickback, which is the low kicks, as I led off with my Dragapult, so it's not a bad lead for us at all, really. Um, what I am going to do here is, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just drop a Draco, I'm pretty confident... No, because they might Sucker Punch here. Got to be careful of the Sucker Punch. So, if we assume they're going to Sucker Punch, we should go Entei. I think, I think Entei is a good switch. Um, so, we'll predict the Sucker Punch and switch out. And um, They might go straight for it, and in which case we get a free Sacred Fire off from something, which is nice. They do go straight for the Sucker Punch, which is great. That, 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 that's definitely a good... Um, Good one for us. So let's go for a Sacred Fire. I don't see any reason not to because even the Quackable doesn't want to get burned. They withdraw the Low Kicks, which is fine. What are they going to go into, though? Rampage. Who's Rampage? The Great Tusk. That doesn't want to get burned either. Sacred Fire might not burn, obviously, but it's a good chance. And that is a two-shot right there and a burn. Oh, dear. That is a two-shot and a burn right there. On a great toss. That's amazing. So Entei coming through with the Sacred Fire. There's no reason for us to not go through another Sacred Fire right here. Sacred Fire comes through. KOs the Great Tusk. We are looking a pretty good. So that must have been an offensive Great Tusk. Probably fitting given the name Rampage. Down Wave comes in, which is the Noiburn. It has to be the Noiburn with a name like that. We switch out here. And I'm leaning towards a Dragapult. If we, if we expect Boom Burst, we should go Dragapult. So I think Dragapult is a good play. It's a risky one because if they drop a Draco, we lose our Dragapult. But it's at the same time, if they go for Boom Burst, we don't want them to get that throw spray. So we'll go with Lycan Rail. They do go Boom Burst, which is great. We made the right play. No throw spray for you. And then we simply just drop a Draco and a Jack Pack out of there. Even if they Terra, we are Jack Pack, so it's fine. They withdraw. They don't want to get hit by a Draco Meteor, which is fine. They're going to probably go into Umbreon. Transmission. Who's Transmission? Umbreon, that's the nice and shiny Umbreon. Gotta love it. We go for a Draco, that's great. We don't miss, which is nice. That's gonna do a lot, of, a nice bit of da damage to the uh, Umbreon, which is fantastic. We get the Eject back out into our Abomus now. And get the Aurora Veil straight up. That's what we need to do, because they probably go for a Wish here. On the, not, not now, but they probably on the Wish the turn that we go for the Aurora Veil. So they might expect a Wood Hammer. And they might switch out preserving this thing and go into Quackable. No, 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 not Quackable. Um, low kicks, if anything. Let's go for an Aurora Veil. They probably predict the Aurora Veil anyway. They actually go for a Taunt. Oh, interesting. So Taunt on the Umbreon. That's good to know. So no Aurora Veil for us. Which is great for them. However, what's their switch into a Woodhammer Blizzard combo? Not a lot. Let's go in, Let's go for the Woodhammer real quick. They go for a Thunder Wave. That's interesting. So they're paralyzing our Abomus now. As long as I can get some damage off, we're all right. Woodhammer comes through. Slam dunks on the Umbreon, which is amazing. And now, I'm just looking at this situation. And I'm trying to figure out what, um, what we lose here. So um, let's go for another Woodhammer. There's no reason not to go for a Woodhammer here. Because their Moonlight isn't going to recover nearly enough health because of the snow. They go for a foul play. That's going to sting a little bit, but not too much. As we go for a Woodhammer, that should take out the Umbreon, right? Yeah, it does. So with the Umbreon dead, Ampharos can probably put in some work here. Kickback comes in. That's going to be the um, first impression, probably, 
uh, low kicks. Now, we don't have the best switch in here. Other than Entei and Gyarados. I'd say Entei is probably the best bet, so let's go Entei. And then we can just fire off a Sacred Fire. And burn something. So Igneo comes in. Looking amazing. First impression comes through. It does half. But we outspeed them, so it's not the end of the world. They can't go for first impression twice. So now we go for a Sacred Fire. Yeah, we go for a Sacred Fire all the time here. Sacred Fire comes through. They actually stayed in. They let their low kicks go down. Entei is just putting in the finest of weight right now. Road Buster comes in the end uh, to Torterra. Now, this thing's probably going to tear a rock, and it's probably going to Shell Smash. Now, we have to be very careful here. We have to be very careful because this thing is a threat. Now, if we want to preserve our Entei for the extreme speed, we should go into Iron Treads here. Because they're more than likely going to tear a rock or tear a fire to be resistant to the Sacred Fire. In which case, Earthquake should KO. Unless they have Terra Blast Fire, which should be alright. So, we're flowing in the air over Air Balloon. They do Terra. Because we've got the Air Balloon, even if they Shell Smash, they can't go for Earthquake on us. They have to go for a Bullet Seed. Terra Fire, that's fine. Terra Fire is fine. So, we're not in a bad position. They go for the Shell Smash. There we go. Defenses do drop, and offenses do rise, as you would expect with a Shell Smash. So let's see what they go for here. They go for a, um, they go for the Shell Smash, but let's see what they go for this next turn. So I'm going to go for an Earthquake. I don't see any reason not to. They go for a Seed Bomb, so they're not loaded dice, which is interesting. So we do take the Seed Bomb, no problem, because they can't go for Earthquake because of the Air Balloon. We go for an EQ. That should take out the Torterra at minus one defenses, as they live with a Focus Sash. So Iron Treads is going to go down, unfortunately, this next turn. So let's go for a Stealth Rock just in case. Headlong Rush comes through. I forgot it gets Headlong Rush and not Earthquake. It does get Earthquake, but I mean, it has Headlong Rush over Earthquake usually. So defenses do drop. Um, but now we're in a very good position. Entei once again coming through. Being an absolute Don. So Entei comes through once again. Putting the pressure on. Gets the extreme speed off, no problem. There they go, the Torterra goes down. Awesome. So now, with Torterra out of the way. So what's Ente taking out? It took out the Great Tusk in two shots. It took out the low kicks. It took out the Torterra. It's looking like an Ente video right here. Vajin comes in. That's going to be the Quackable, right? Yeah, Quackable comes in because Neuven was Soundwave. Um, we definitely want to... They've already terrored, so we don't have to worry about Terra Electric or anything like that. So we definitely go Gyarados here. We haven't terrored, so we can just Terra Blast flying and just, like, Terra Blast right here. So let's go into Rage real quick. There we go. They might Swords Dance here. They actually Aqua Step to outspeed us the next turn, so that's fine. I think they outspeed us the next turn anyway, because it's Gyarados. It's not that fast. Um, so now we just Terrestrialize. We Terra Blast Ice. Uh, flying, sorry. So now we terrestrialize into a flying type to give us a nice and powerful flying stab move. And because we were already flying type in the first place, this is boosted even further, which is really nice. And the Terra Flying Gyarados is easily my favorite Terra to put on Gyarados, that's for sure. So we'll go for the Terra Blast. They go for a Terra Blast of their own, which is going to do no damage because it's special when it's not terrestrialized. Terra Blast comes through. And down goes the... Quackable, which is amazing. So I don't think there was anything they could have done there. The only thing they could have done really is they could have Aqua Stepped if they wanted to predict the Terra. Just to, you know, to weaken us for the Neuvern to come in, which is fine. So Soundwave comes in. The Neuvern. And we should care with Terra Blast if we can live a Boom Burst. They go for a Dragon Pulse instead. I think Boom Burst wouldn't have KO'd either, to be fair. Terra Blast comes through. And that should KO the Neuvern, right, at plus one. Yeah, there we go. Gyarados finishing off the game. But Entei really put in the weight of this game, I will say. So Gyarados and Entei were the stars of this show, that's for sure. GG Reese, that was a fun one. Okay, Jake has brought a pretty cool team. A Weavile, a Quackable, a Colossal, Florgis, Crocodile, and an Alolan Executor. So, Ampharos looks like it could put in some serious work here if we get rid of that Florgis. Um, or weaken it, at least. Oh, wow, this is looking really good for us. Other than Terror, of course, but we, if we can force them to Terror somehow. So if we look at the team, I'm, I'm thinking if we leave Vine Treads, get the Stealth Frogs up straight away. 
I think that's a solid one. Um, Eintracht does pretty all right against that team as well. I don't think they lead with Quackable, and even if they do, we're just going to Gyarados, right? So we'll go with the Eintracht lead, and we'll get the Stealth Rock for it. And the battle begins. Good look, have fun, Jake. So they're going to lead off with Poas, which is the Colossal, as I led off with my Hot Wheels, the Iron Tread. So not a bad lead for us. And um, we can Earthquake this thing. They probably don't stay in. They probably switch out into, like, the Alolan Executor or something. So I'm going to get my Stealth Rocks up straight away. They may even Terra. If they Terra, that's great. That means there's no surprise Terra later for Ampharos. So they withdraw the Colossal. That's great. They're going to go into what exactly? The Sir George. Is that the Florges? It's not as the Alolan Executor. I thought it might be the floor just because of the, the way the George was spelled, but maybe I'm just being dumb. Anyway, Alolan Executor comes in. And um, we're in a bit of an interesting position because they could go for a flamethrower or they could go for an earthquake. We could knock off. They might be a jet pack, so we could go for a knockoff. Um, knockoff could be a really good option. So I think I'll go for a knockoff here. Um, just to get rid of their item that they might have a jet, a jet pack. They have a key berry. So we're not have to worry about that. So they go for a calm mind. Interesting. I could have ice spinner. But they go for a calm mind anyway, which is interesting. So that thing is tall as well. That's very tall. So. So, do we switch out here? If they've gone for a Calm Mind, we should probably get out of here and go into something they can take on. I'm leaning towards the, uh, the Abomus now. I'm leaning towards the Entei as well, because that knockoff damage did a lot of damage. If they're going to go for anything on this, they go for a Flamethrower, right? So let's go for a uh, Entei switch. I think Entei is a good switch. Alone Executor is an interesting Pokemon, that's for sure. So let's go into Entei real quick. They go for a Giga Drain, which isn't going to do too much damage to us. So they didn't have Flamethrower, which is interesting. It does recover their HP, though, which is unfortunate. So let's go for a Sacred Fire here. Sacred Fire comes through and misses, which is really unfortunate, because it means we're going to get hit by a Draco Meteor or a Dragon Pulse now, which we do. And that's going to take us out, unfortunately. So Entei goes down. We are in a bit of a pickle right now. A little Executor could come through here. We might have to go Gyarados and Terra Blast flying. We might have to go Gyarados and Terra Blast flying. Or, you know, Dragon Dance. Alternatively, we could just go a Bomber Snow like I am going to do and go for an Ice Shard. I'm pretty confident Ice Shard will KO from here. Pretty confident Ice Shard will KO from here. So let's go for an Ice Shard. Ice Shard comes through. It should do a lot of damage. It doesn't actually get the KO though. As they go for a Dragon Pulse, which might KO us a plus one. Probably doesn't. No, he doesn't. That's great. So we go for another Ice Shard here all the time. We definitely take out this Alolan Executor right here. And now there's no point wasting our Terra by going for the Terra Blast flying on the uh, Gyarados. Um, so that is great. The Alolan Executor. The threat is averted. All right. The Quackable's coming in right now. Probably going to go for a close combat here. We can't Terra because if we Terra, we lose our Ice Typing, which means we lose the Defense Boost, which means we won't take it anyway. We could go Amphi for the Static. Um, I'm leaning towards the uh, Dragapult though. I am going to go Dragapult. I feel like they go straight for a close combat to get the KO. Just because the Abomber Snow was kind of threatening right there. So I'm going to go into Lycanroe, the Dragapult. They go for a Swords Dance. Ah, that's that's not good. That is not good for us at all. So now they can go for a dra uh, an Aqua Step if they want to. Um, or an Ice Spinner. Ice Spinner would be clutch for them. I say we sack off a Bomber Snow. I say we go for a Draco Meteor right now. Eject pack into a Bomber Snow. And sack it off. I don't think they go for an Aqua Step here because we 2 it KO them. So I don't think they go for an Aqua Step. I think they go straight for an Ice Spinner. So let's go a Bomber Snow. Like so. A Bomber Snow like so. They go for an Ice Spinner, which is great. No speed boost, nothing like that. No speed boost, no defense drops though. That's the only thing. And now we just go back into Dragapult with Shadow Ball. Because they got a Moxie boost, but they've got no speed behind them, which is great. We could also go Iron Treads and Earthquake. Earthquake, that's probably a better option. I think we go Iron Treads and we Earthquake. So we're going to Hot Wheel. And if they Terra flying here for some reason, which I don't think they will have. Then well, they, won't, they won't be terrifying. They won't be terrifying. We go for an earthquake that takes out the Quackable, no problem. So Quackable's dead, which is great. 
which is great. Absolutely fantastic, even. They're gonna go into Crocodile, which is a good switch. Gets the Stones dug in, breaking a potential Sash. Gets the Intimidate off, which is unfortunate. Um, we go for a knockoff here just to get rid of the item they might have. We go for a knockoff, the Nacho Scarf, which is good to know. And we're going to knock off what we are knocking off. A Leftovers, which is good to get, good to get rid of. They go for a knockoff of their own, which is going to break our Air Balloon. Which is fine. So now we should be worried about switching out now that our Air Balloon's gone. So if we assume they're going to go for an Earthquake, we should go Gyarados. I am going to go Gyarados here. I don't see any reason not to. So let's go into Gyarados real quick. Like so. Gyarados comes in, the good old Rage. There we go. As uh, they go for a Rock Tomb and they miss. So that is unfortunate they missed that Rock Tomb right there. That means they probably don't want to stay in, right? So we go for a Dragon Dance. They're going to Terror. Okay, so they're Terroring. What type are they Terroring into? What type? If they go Terror Rock Rock Tomb, that's going to be falling. They go for a Terror Poison. Interesting. So Terra Poison means they don't die to a Warfall. They go for a Rock Tomb, which is going to do a lot of damage to us. Does lower our speed, of course. We go for a Dragon Dance. We're at plus one. Um, we're back to neutral speed. So now we've got the attack boost. We should go for an Earthquake. Let's go for an Earthquake. They go for a Rock Tomb again. Doesn't take us out, but we are in, in range for Weavile. Um, or, no, just Weavile to take us out. So we go for an Earthquake. That's going to get rid of the Crook, which is fine. We're Crook out of the way. We're in a better position, at least. So we're at minus one speed. We should still outspeed the Florges, and we should still outspeed the Colos Colossal. Yeah, they bring in just Weavile. <laughs> Love to see it. I haven't used Weavile in ages. Haven't used Weavile in ages. Uh, let's see what we can do here. I'm going to go for a Waterfall. I think Warfall's a good option. Um, they're probably going to take us out anyway with one hit. Yeah, Ice Shard comes through. That's going to take us out. So the Ice Shard comes through. Takes out Gyarados. Which is unfortunate. But it is what it is at the end of the day. They are Life Orb, which is good to know. Um, we can go into Dragapult. We can live an Ice Shard and go for a Dragon Meteor or Flamethrower. We could also go Iron Treads. No, Iron Treads doesn't add speed. So probably for the best not to do that. Ampharos could probably live a knockoff. We're not, maybe not a triple axel. Let's go into Dragapult. Let's go Dragapult and we will Flamethrower. Flamethrower just to preserve. Uh, let's go for the Flamethrower right now. They go for an Ice Shard. We should live one of those. We do. They get the Life Orb chip and then we go for a Flamethrower. We should take them out from here. It does. So the, the Weavile goes down, which is nice. So Weavile going down is great. As uh, now we have a Florgis and a Colossal to deal with, which is incredible. So Anti comes in. Auntie comes in. Florgis. We go for a... Do we need Dragapult? We go for a Shadow Ball here. Shadow Ball comes through. There we go. We get a Special Defense drop, which is big. We go for a Moonblast. That's going to take us out. The special attack, the special defense drop there is massive, by the way. Humongous, in fact. Because it means Ampharos can actually do something here. So let's go Ampharos. Let's go Ampharos. And we'll go for a Meteor Beam. They withdraw. Oh, they go Colossal even better. Because it means we not only get um, a special attack boost... They get the special defense back. That's the only problem with that. So they go, we go for a Meteor Beam. Like so. Get a special attack boost. And then miss. Do we miss? No, we don't miss. That's great. All right. I thought we missed for a second then. That's going to take out the Colossal. Oh, they've got Focus Sash though. No, they haven't. They just lived. Thunderbolt comes through now though. There we go. Thunderbolt comes through because we outspeed the Colossal. And then we're looking pretty good with Ampharos right now. I think Ampharos wins us the game. Potentially. Auntie comes through. The floor just. Get some stealth rock chip, which is nice. We go for a Thunderbolt here. They go for a Moonblast. They could lower our special attack. But oh, that did a lot of damage. That specs floor just? That specs floor just? That's crazy. But anyway, floor just goes down to a plus one Thunderbolt, and that is going to be the game. So GGJ, that was a really fun one. I enjoyed that one.